I remember when fall in California used to feel like cool and breezy. Now it's just summer. It's just hot. Anyhow, I'm gonna head into Costco and see what is brand new for fall 2021, specifically in the world of keto. Let's see what new stuff they've got. They've been really leveling it up and a lot of cool new things coming out. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna head in there, gonna look at some bars, gonna look at some snacks, look at some perishables, all that stuff. Let's head in. So there's these Chalk XO Keto Snaps. Okay, don't really know much about these. Let's see, we've got organic dark chocolate, cocoa mass, organic cocoa butter, organic low-fat cocoa powder, organic cane sugar once again, organic vanilla extract, organic coconut, organic almonds, and sea salt. So they've got three grams of added sugars. So we have six grams of total carbs, three grams of fiber. So six grams of net carbs, that puts us at. It's frustrating because this is one of those things where if it didn't have the sugar in there, this would be amazing macronutrients, right? It's all organic, which has a big plus. There's some really cool stuff coming out about chocolate now, okay? In specific, uh, how it can affect what's called PGC1A, which means that it can improve what's called mitochondrial biogenesis. So you can, if you're doing keto and you're trying to get to that sort of like holy grail of being what's called fat adapted, where your cells get so good at using fat that becomes their preferred source, uh, chocolate can help you get there, but not chocolate with a bunch of sugar. Granted, this doesn't have a lot of sugar. It just has a small amount. It is a new fall keto item, so I'm gonna get it. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna eat it. I might just dispense it and give some to people, but still, brand new keto item, 85% chocolate. I just, again, wish they were using monk fruit or something like that instead. But one thing's for certain, it probably holds up to in taste pretty well. Here's something new. Oh, wow, this is brand new. I have not seen this at all before. Everything Bagel Cashew Crunch with slivered almonds, sunflower and hemp seeds, onion and garlic, sesame, kosher salt, caraway, poppy seed, and chives. No sugar added, baked in MCT oil and flax. This is kind of cool. Okay, there's one big glaring issue, Mr. Pessimistic Tom over here. I'm not a big fan of cashews. I think they taste delicious, but the carb content of cashews is super high. Uh, so in this case, we have roasted cashews. Does not specify if they're dry roasted or roasted in additional oil. Almonds, erythritol, interesting. They're making them kind of sweet. Sunflower seeds, which I'm not a big fan of using sunflower oil, but I don't really mind sunflower seeds too much. Hemp seeds, I really like. Tremendous source of what's called uh, methionine, which is uh, a sulfur amino, very good on keto. Dried onions, so we're getting some prebiotic effect there. Same with dried garlic. Ground flax seeds, I could go on and on and on about flax seeds tremendous fan of flax inulin prebiotic fiber okay again it's also giving it some thickness too white sesame seeds sweet so we're getting sesame and sesame kosher salt mct oil heck to the yes black sesame seeds caraway seeds sprouted brown rice flour that's a little weird but i get why they have that in there and at least i gotta give them serious credit they're going with sprouted brown rice uh, the sprouting process breaks down some of the phytates that are in the hull of the rice it would be it's brown rice because it still has the hull but it's been sprouted, which is great, easier to digest. Poppy seeds, uh, garlic powder, rosemary extract as a preservative, probably for flavoring too, celery seeds and dried chives. Okay, what I do like about this product, pretty much every single thing. I just think that cashews are not exactly the best on keto because look at that carb content. We have very little fiber, a little bit of sugar, but none of it's added. Three grams of sugar alcohols, nine grams of total carbohydrates, three of which are sugar alcohols. So that means six grams of total. Um, absolutely doable. Again, just not a big pig cashew guy. If they had done this with, oh, I don't know, say Brazil nuts or macadamia nuts or something like that, it would be twice as expensive, but I'm still gonna get it. This is definitely a keto item. Keto certified. Um, I don't know who certifies stuff, but it says it is. It's kind of funny because you compare this. This is like another cashew cluster with almonds and pumpkin seeds. This one's much more of a sweet one. Let's take a look at this. Okay, this one's 11 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, so that puts you at 10. And then, yeah, so I mean, you're up 10 grams of net carbs with this one versus the one we just took a look at. So, so far we got two cool new Costco keto items. Let's keep rolling. It's fall. That means we need to get a bunch of keto snacks because everyone needs to get ready to hibernate for the winter. It's what we do in fall, right? Pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. Extra pump of pumpkin sweetener in your Starbucks 14 shot extra latte 
thingamajigger. Have you ever had a Smyrna fig? <laughs> yes, another keto item, keto friendly. Okay, so now we're at the third keto item. In this case, we got organic cauliflower, organic high oleic sunflower and or safflower. Eh, don't care for that. Sea salt, organic maltodextrin. Remember, maltodextrin is going to trigger an insulin spike, okay? It is a carbohydrate, but it's the last ingredient, so I don't think it's really playing a big role. My rule with maltodextrin is if it's in the first half of the ingredient list, you might be best off leaving it aside. If it's in the bottom half, it's probably negligible, okay? It can spike your insulin. It is high glycemic, higher glycemic than sugar, but these are really cool, okay? Now, what about the high oleic sunflower safflower oil? The same spiel I give in a lot of my different videos, right? The high oleic just makes it shelf stable. I don't have a huge problem with sunflower oil, especially if it is high oleic. I understand it's just how things are made these days. It's better than soy. Would I rather see coconut or avocado? You bet your butt I would. But this is still an awesome new keto item that they didn't have before. So check that out. Okay, look at this. Three items already. Got all kinds of new stuff. Oh man, seriously? I hope this is what I think it is. Organic green asparagus, organic maltodextrin, organic palm oil. Yeah, I don't like that maltodextrin is the second ingredient. That's a little rough. 19 grams of carbs, four of which are fiber, five grams of added sugars. Here's a perfect example to see the whole maltodextrin thing in action. Maltodextrin is the second ingredient. Okay, it's derived from corn. And in this case, they're actually considering it an added sugar. Okay, so five grams of added sugars. Okay, nine grams of total sugars. Four grams of the sugar is coming from the asparagus itself. Asparagus does not have much sugar, but since these are dried, it's obviously concentrated. This five grams of added sugars, you would look at this label and you'd say, where's the sugar? Ha, <laughs> maltodextrin is the sugar. See what I'm saying, everybody? It does add up. This is not keto friendly, although I do appreciate what they're doing. Hi. Are you coming? I am. <laughs> you. Awesome. <laughs> what are you recommending? These are kind of cool. I just saw those. Yeah. I don't know how they taste yet. But. I don't know about this one. Let's see. I think oh. I'm trying to do the whole gluten free keto thing. Yeah, I mean, they got the. It still has the sugar and stuff in it, but I mean, yeah. it's in the grand scheme of things, it's a heck of a lot better than the other stuff they got. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Hope you don't mind. He's still kind of filming. Is that cool? No, okay. Worries. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. It looks like they're demoing the ratio bar, which is good. This is an awesome new one. You guys know that I've talked about Love Good Fats on this channel. They have been a sponsor on my channel for, shoot, like almost since the beginning. Okay, I've known Susie who started this brand. I know her, she's even like consulted with me on different things, like really know what they're putting into it. They finally have a good bar here. It used to be the Kirkland bar that I would recommend as the best bar here on keto, but they changed the formulation and the carb content is just way too high now. It's just not gonna fly. Plus the sugar alcohols on this one, just a lot. Yeah, we got tw uh, 10 grams of fiber, so we're looking at, that's a lot of bloat city coming in your way. These are really awesome. Check it out. These are their new chewy nutty bars. Okay, so I love the dark chocolate sea salt almond. I like the peanut too, but I'll take the dark chocolate any day because it's just my, my jam. Look at the ingredients here. The fats blend, dry roasted almonds, coconut oil, medium chain triglycerides, soluble corn fiber. In this case, soluble corn fiber, I would prefer over a lot of other sweeteners because of how it digests. It's considered what is called a fermentable, uh, dice, or excuse me, it's what is considered a demonstrable fermentable product. So it means that it breaks down, it is a legit fiber. Fava bean, uh, bean protein crisps, which is fava bean and protein isolate, um, or fava bean as a protein isolate. Sorry, my eyes right now, what they? And tapioca starch. So instead of using soy crisps like you normally find, dark chocolate flavored coating, chicory root fiber, palm kernel oil, palm oil, brown rice protein, cocoa powder processed with alkali, sunflower lecithin, chicory root fiber, glycerin, cocoa powder. Okay, really in the grand schemes of a keto bar, very, very, very good. Okay, and I love that they're using a combination of stevia and the soluble corn fiber as a sweetener. So a very low glycemic, practically no yeah, insulin spike that. whatsoever. God, he's scared me. <laughs> so they are a sponsor of this channel and they are sponsoring this video because they want to get some awareness out. I know that this is here, this is awesome. Go to your Costco's and get these. Okay, we vote with our dollars. Okay, one thing that I can say is even if you weren't necessarily hot on keto bars and it wasn't your thing, the more that Costco sees interest in keto and different kinds of things, 
that vote with your dollars changes the dynamic of the food that is in a store. I can't tell you that enough. They don't care other than what the books say, okay? So go to your Costco, get one of these. They're what, $14.99 here in California, or what is that, $15.99, sorry, I was looking at the wrong tech, here in California, which means they're probably $3 everywhere else, just kidding. Go check them out. Give some support to good, love. Uh, give some support to love good fats. Actually, what am I doing? Let me get this. And make sure you check them out as well. I'll put a link down below. So if you don't have access to a Costco, you can still check them out and get them online. So big thank you to them for the support. Okay, I also, oh man, this is cool. We got all kinds of stuff. Now we have Catalina Crunch, which I will tell you is delicious. Okay, if you miss cereal, I recommend it. But there's a big reason why I have to be a little bit cautious with it. It's not necessarily the ingredients per se. I don't exactly like seeing potato fiber in there, but they're using that as what's called a resistant starch. So it's a way for them to get the fiber and the starch and the, the, the starchy body in there without having a negative blood sugar impact. Potato fiber is a resistant starch, which means it resists digestion and it goes straight into the intestine and becomes uh, fermented by our gut bacteria. It can actually contribute to short chain fatty acids, which are great, okay? Those are tremendous for glucose utilization, for fatty acid oxidation, meaning helping you potentially burn more fat uh, just downstream, right? <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. When I say downstream, I mean long-term effects of having higher levels of short chain fatty acids and feeding our gut can be very good. Um, the high oleic sunflower oil, at least they're using high oleic. Natural flavors I'm not a huge fan of. All in all, it's not a bad product. Like I've eaten it before, I've actually opted for it at times when I just want something. But one thing I did notice when I was wearing my continuous glucose monitor, if I was deep in ketosis and my glucose levels were stable, I would see a spike with this stuff, uh, which tells me that maybe there's cause for concern in terms of ketogenesis and our ketone formation. I do think a small amount is just fine though. So I'm gonna get it. Okay, okay, we got five new keto items. I'm telling you, fall is when they start releasing all the good things, all the snacks, all this other stuff. Okay, now we got this one. This is the one they were sampling, the Ratio Keto Bar. Now, Ratio is uh, owned by General Mills, and I'm not trying to rain on General Mills here. I'm just saying that General Mills caught wind that keto is popular. I think we should take it as a compliment. It's easy to get upset about it and say, oh, General Mills is gonna ruin the keto thing. I think they're gonna actually bring some awareness, but it's my job to look at ingredients here. And although I like how short the ingredient list is, and I like some of the first ingredients, I like almonds, I like pumpkin seeds, but then they go straight into soy protein isolate. So many better options on keto than that. Okay, coconut oil, I love that. Erythritol, then they have whey protein isolate. If they had even just flipped the whey protein isolate with the soy protein isolate, it would have been much better. I just do not want to consume that soy. Okay, chicory root extract, sea salt, natural flavor, stevia extract. Now, if we look at the macros here, let's see, we got six grams of, well, we got nine grams, minus three, it puts us at six, minus sugar alcohol, so that's two grams of net carbs. Okay, so in this case, we have a little bit higher net carbs, but if you ask me a better ingredient profile, but the taste is also second to none with this one. And I'll tell you from experience, there's a reason that I support love good fats on my channel and not another one, right? So this is still a keto bar. I'm still going to get it. I think it's still worth saying it's a new item at Costco. I just, again, not only do I have a fiduciary responsibility because love good fats is a sponsor, but I just prefer it. And that is the honest truth. Okay, let's keep seeing what we got, man. Did you see that one? That's a keto, oh my gosh. Wow. I just assumed that, okay, we're definitely interesting. So I think what Costco might be doing is they might be saying, hey, let's put some new keto products, some keto bars out there and let's see which one wins, okay? Which again, I'm asking you as someone that's a subscriber to this channel, go and vote with your dollars. Get the ones that I'm telling you have the good ingredients in there. This one doesn't look bad though. Let's see. Oh, we have almonds, chicory root fiber. I like that. Fiber's a little early on. Uh, chocolate, pea protein crisps, pea protein, rice flour. Okay, well, it's in the crisps, so I know that seems like an early place to have the rice flour, but it's not too bad. It's just in the crisps. Sunflower seeds, pea protein, I like that. Coconut, cocoa butter, ooh, I like that too. Natural flavors, chia seeds, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, stevia extract mix. You know, I don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about this one. Uh, one gram of net carb, it looks like. 11 grams of carbs minus seven grams of fiber. I put this at four. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was a sugar alcohol. Okay, so we have four grams of net carbs. So it's a little higher than the ratio, but better ingredients than the ratio. It says right there, four grams of net carbs. The peanut butter one is five grams of net carbs. 
So we're all kind of in the same category here. I would definitely take these two over the ratio. Different worlds, definitely different worlds. I think I haven't tried this bar, so I'll have to kind of report back. But again, it's nice to see that one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's, whoop, this is new. <laughs> I wonder if this is... Uh, Okay, so you've probably seen on my channel, I work with a brand called Natural Heaven a lot. It's a uh, Hearts of Palm Pasta. I don't know if this is theirs or not, because sometimes they'll white label under a different name. Let's see. Hearts of Palm, water, citric acid, salt. No, it's not them. I know that they are adamant about just having Hearts of Palm. Um, interesting. Drain. Yeah, same kind of thing. So what this is, look at the uh, carb content here. Four grams of carbs, two of which is fiber, two grams of net carbs. It's a spaghetti that is made from one ingredient, hearts of palm. And it's actually a very sustainable thing. So before you bag on the whole palm thing, this is actually making use out of some of the palms that have been harvested. So I've never seen this item at Costco. I'm pretty stoked to see it here. Uh, I prefer my brand that I'm loyal to. And also I like the fact that the one I usually use is just one ingredient, hearts of palm. This does have the citric acid and stuff in there, but it's not a big deal. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this. It's definitely a keto item. So they market it as keto. Let's see. Yep. Oh, yep, there we go. Right smack in the beginning. So heck yeah, man, this is cool. Like what's going on? I don't, maybe I'm just, you know, the Costco that I usually go to maybe just doesn't have the good stuff. I need to come here to do a Costco videos. Oh, wait a minute. This is, beep, 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 beep. I'm a huge curry guy. Yeah, it's Thai. They have some cool stuff on Thrive. Oh man, I think I'm stoked here. Eight grams of carbs, ooh, one gram of fiber, three grams of sugar. So, okay, so we got seven grams of carbs for one fourth of this. Coconut cream, shallots, lime juice, red bell peppers, water, garlic, lemongrass, organic gums, tapioca starch, sea salt, curry powder, turmeric, lime leaves, coriander, Thai chilies, cumin, back. Okay, this is 100% good to go. The carb content is simply coming from like sugar in the veggies. Probably that guy right there, the red bell peppers. Okay, there's a pretty high carb content in red bell peppers. Coconut cream is gonna have a little bit of carbs too, just from the pulp and everything like that. It's probably where the fiber is coming from. This is a great thing to put over this. Make yourself some form of like curry noodles, almost like a pad thai. You could like spice it up a little bit. Maybe if you wanted to add a little bit of that peanut butter that I showed you, mix that up with, the, uh, with this, give it a little peanut flair. Although if I know anything, this stuff probably tastes really good. Keto or not, I think this is a great item. And this Yai's Thai company, I have zero fiduciary responsibility, zero financial interest in this company whatsoever. I promise you, I'm just telling you, this is a good product. I really, really like their stuff. They have also like an almond uh, sauce. It's like a peanut sauce made with almond. Uh, they have it on Thrive Market, I've seen. Ha <laughs> here's something new. Now, I mentioned this in a recent video, but it, I mean, it was a video I filmed a few days ago. Okay, definitely a new keto item. Uh, these keto crackers have been here for a while. I've bought them in other halls. I really do like them, uh, but let me explain in just a second. These Nutrail brand, low carb keto glazed pecans from that same company that created that granola that I mentioned earlier. Check out the ingredients on this. I'm stoked on this. Pecans, erythritol, so that is a sugar alcohol, water, butter, okay, cinnamon, salt, and monk fruit extract. That's it. The only beef that I have with this is maybe the erythritol is a little high on the list. I'm not afraid of sugar alcohols but I do know that sometimes they make me hungry. Like it stimulate my appetite a little bit, probably because it's working in that portion of the brain. It's working in that, um, you know, mesolimbic dopamine system in my brain that's just triggering me to want to eat. But I have had these because I got them a week ago in my last haul. And I will tell you, if you take them and you mix them in with some other nuts, they are just unreal. You can put them on salad. You can do all kinds of things with them. Pecans are already a great nut. I like them because they're mechanically easy to digest. They're not super hard. Uh, they're really kind of soft. So if you ever notice that like, yeah, I'm gonna get weird here for a second. If you eat nuts and you might notice that sometimes they come out the way that they go in, okay? And that's because you're not digesting them. They're hard to masticate. You gotta chew them a lot. Pecans are softer and they almost dissolve in your mouth, which means from a mechanical perspective, you're probably getting more nutrition and nutrient extraction because you're gonna have more surface area that's actually getting broken down. I just like that they're using butter. And look at total carbohydrates, eight, dietary fiber, two, five grams of sugar alcohol. So we got, whoa, seriously? This sounds like six, one gram of net carb. Yeah, one gram of net carb. So heck yes for 2021 fall keto finds. It is seriously keto season at Costco right now. Italian butter. I'm sure it's obviously keto. 
non-GMO fed cows, nothing about it being grass-fed. Let's see. Northern Italy. Beautiful. Italian butter is generally made with fermented or cultured cream, which gives it a slightly more complex taste than American butter, which is made with sweet cream. Interesting. So it has pr some uh, uh, cultures added to it, which means it may have a prebiotic effect or a probiotic effect. It's kind of expensive, but I don't really need butter, but this is still a cool find. Like the probiotic effect, I have to look into it. The fact that it's kind of a fermented butter. Does, if anyone knows about Italian butter, comment down below and let me know a little bit more about it. It's kind of interesting. I should know since I have quite a bit of Italian in me. I guess I'm failing my heritage here. Hmm. New flavor. Nice. Usually they have the Korean barbecue. Roasted garlic chicken. This company is so awesome. They don't even market it as keto. They're just calling it just paleo, but three grams of carbohydrates? I'd say that's pretty darn keto. Um, so we got the chicken. Okay, the typical thing in the chicken. You know, the yeast extract, okay, here's the thing. The yeast extract is still, in a lot of ways, MSG. It's naturally occurring in a lot of compounds. And a lot of times you'll see products kind of disguise MSG with yeast extract. Um, some of their products have it, some of them don't. A little unfortunate that this one has it, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Let me see what else is in it. Lemon juice, granulated garlic, black pepper, the roasted garlic sauce. It's interesting because the yeast extract is actually in the chicken. If you just took the sauce in this and made it with your own chicken, it'd be just as good. Chicken fat, uh, roasted garlic, coconut milk, wow. Tapioca starch, uh, still some yeast extract in the sauce. Coconut sugar, lemon juice concentrate, roasted dehydrated garlic, black pepper. Definitely keto friendly and definitely pretty awesome. I've never seen this flavor before, so this is something different. I have to try it because I'm a huge fan of this brand. Uh, the yeast extract might, I don't know, sometimes you'll feel like your brain is just a little lit up with it. A little unfortunate they have that. Uh, it's all good. It, it happens. This looks interesting, but it looks like it comes with the rice. This is one of those things where, you know, if you're the only one on keto or whatever, you get this for the family, you take the chicken and you give everyone else the rice. <laughs> you know, it's all good, divvy it up. It doesn't, it doesn't claim to be keto. I like this. Soy free, dairy free, canola free, gluten free, all fresh. Eight grams of carbs, three of which are fiber, leaving us at five grams of net carbs. One gram of added sugar. Let's see where it falls. Cauliflower, the Romesco sauce, which is roasted red peppers, uh, water, salt, citric acid, almonds. Interesting. Extra virgin olive oil. Heck yes. No canola, no grapeseed, no weird sunflower oil. Straight up olive oil. Sherry wine vinegar, water. Okay, there's the sugar in there. Garlic, sea salt, natural flavors. Uh, I could go on my whole spiel about natural flavors, but you've seen me talk about it before. Cornstarch is a little eh. Fennel seed, black pepper, extra virgin olive oil again. Um, Okay, so a couple things I don't like. Natural flavors, cornstarch. Cornstarch is really low on down the list and I think it's probably in there as a binding agent. And the sugar, which is probably just in the typical sauce. I wish they would just use a sauce that didn't have added sugar. It doesn't make, I mean, I know it's not just sugar from, from the tomatoes. It actually says what, we know right there, one gram. That's how you cross reference. It says sugar, added sugar, one gram. Whoop. This is definitely worth trying though. I'm a huge cauliflower guy. Maybe I put the cauliflower in the air fryer to get a little bit more toasted, and then I'll put the pomodoro sauce on it. Oh, sorry, romesco sauce in this case. Okay. Okay, we're going to take one last spin up through the vitamin supplements, see if there's anything keto related that's popped up there. And then we got a bunch of snacks that I don't want hanging out in my house because they're delicious and also still caloric. Cool. Thank you. All right. Give this a try real quick. This is the ratio, this one. Very stale tasting. I mean, it's not like I would throw it away, but I wouldn't opt for it. Mm. I was talking about the, yeah, the soy crisps. I thought there's a lot of them. All of that is soy crisps. Everything that's like crispy, all that, that's all soy. I don't even want to eat the rest of that. It's too much soy for my liking. I thought that maybe it was like going to be little like soy crunchies that were in there. The soy crisp is making up the bulk of that bar. <laughs> so the protein content is 12 grams. Whereas we look at the dang bar, protein content is also nine grams. The dang bar, you're getting the protein from the pea protein. 
These are a little bit lower protein because these are more fat based. So in this case, we have nine grams of protein in this one. Good. 14 grams of fat, 17 grams of fat. 240 calories in a bar that doesn't even taste that good. 200 calories here, 15 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. So kind of equal macros to there. Saturated fat, four grams. Saturated fat, six grams. Okay, so I do like the saturated fat content is a little bit lower. We're getting more from the MCTs and more from other fats. However, the saturated fat that's coming here is mostly steric acid from the chocolate. So, hey, Michael Johnson. What you repping, Michael? I call him Michael Johnson. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff in there, man. What you doing, Magic? Vegan protein blend, pea protein, potato protein, chlorella protein, chia protein, quinoa protein, fiber. Whoa. 12 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fiber. I like they do break down the soluble. Three grams of added sugar. Okay, so it's seven grams of carbs in a two scoop serving. That's getting you 25 grams of protein. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in that. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, got a, it's just so much of a crazy blend. Uh, I get it though. It's definitely like heavy kind of um, just this resistant starch kind of type thing. I'm curious to try it, but well, we've got almond protein. This is straight up almond protein. Interesting. All right, I think I've seen what I need to see. Let's go ahead and check out. Right. Like 14 people to move my cart. This Apparently. is like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's good job security. You need like multiple people no. to move baskets. That was kind of cool. The most attention this basket's had in a while. It's almost like he's married. Ha ha ha. I can say that because I'm married. Except I still get attention, but it's only because I'm famous. Nine. Just kidding, I'm not famous. And Mr. JR's eggs. Wow, $147 worth of keto stuff. This is my dinner tonight. One day, I'm gonna have a cheat meal and I'm gonna get a McFlurry. I've been saying that for like four years. That the next cheat meal, I'm gonna go have a McFlurry. But I usually end up getting some kind of like quasi semi-healthy thing. Like I'll go and get a street taco on a corn tortilla uh, instead of flour with no cheese and guacamole and you know, really not all that bad. There goes my whole McFlurry. One day I will get the McFlurry and I will document it. You can all make fun of me. So that is all the new keto items for fall 2021. Clearly keto season at Costco because lots of new stuff coming through. I'm excited to try a couple of these things. Excited to give away a few because I don't need to have them in my house. And a big shout out and a big thank you to today's video sponsors. Love Good Fats, which is awesome. Thank you for the support. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. See you tomorrow.